More than a week after the hurricane hammered the Carolinas, flooding elsewhere continues to make travel dangerous. The storm has claimed more than three dozen lives. Manuel Bajorquez reports from Conway, South Carolina. Hurricane Florence's rain has become a slow moving but destructive wall of water snaking down the Carolinas, where hundreds are under evacuation orders. The only way to reach some homes in Conway, South Carolina, is by boat. This is what Lee's Landing Road looks like. And there is a massive effort to protect what could become the only way in and out of town. This is what we call the water side of the dam. So as the water approaches, this uh, polyurethane will help protect all of the material, the earth material that we've put underneath it. Okay. Lieutenant Colonel Bill Matheny with the South Carolina National Guard says 300 soldiers were part of the effort to build four miles of temporary dam in just one week. Just over here is what you're worried about. That's right. So coming in from our north is the Waccamaw River. And what you see here is already in the low-lying areas. We're starting to get the, the increased water levels from the Waccamaw. And then to our east, we've got the dike that separates, typically separates the Waccamaw River from Lake Busby. And that's already breached, so we're really dealing with one body of water at this point. Residents are expressing their gratitude, like Jennifer Mullen, who has been part of an effort to provide the soldiers home-cooked meals. They say thank you. Uh, they are so gracious, and I mean, the gratitude's overwhelming from them for everything that has been done for them. Upstream in North Carolina, the cleanup continues. 69,000 people there have applied for FEMA assistance, as their neighbors in South Carolina, like those who live near the Waccamaw, are anxiously watching the waters rise. People who live here have never seen the Waccamaw River look quite like this. It has now surpassed the record set two years ago after Hurricane Matthew, and it's not expected to crest until early next week. Manuel Bajorquez, CBS News, Conway, South Carolina.